welcome viewers and dear students to another session of max problems challenging problems so i hope the previous ones you have watched them and it was beneficial for you now this is another question which my student brought to me it is a question under simultaneous equation and she tried to do it by multiplying with uh, making the coefficients the same by substitution and she asked me i'm such a big question and we are not even able to use calculator i said no there's a particular strategy so students stay tuned for this and note down what is the strategy i'm going to use so basically what you need to see in this type of question is do you see that this y coefficient and this is the same right and you see that this coefficient and this coefficient that is the x and this are the same so when you see this particular pattern all you have to do is label this as one label this as two so your strategy would be add these questions and second subtract these two equations all right add these two equations subtract these two equations get two other equations and then try to solve the simultaneous equation and you would see hey it is so simple all right so let me do this two thing adding both of the equations so let me add so if i add 1 plus 2 i'm going to get 217 plus 131 is going to be 348x plus again 348y all right is equal to 1740 if i look at this i have a common factor 348 all right so if i divide by 348 i land up with a very simple simultaneous equation x plus y is equal to 5 because 5 times 8 40 5 times 4 20 24 2 1700 and this is equation 3 right so do you see that complicated equation has just turned out to be this and next subtract 1 minus 2 and if I subtract 1 minus 2, I get 217 minus 131 is 86. If you can just do the calculation here, 6, 11 uh, minus 3, 8, and I get 86x. And this would become negative 86y, okay? Because I'm subtracting that and that is equal to 86, all right? Oh my God. So now you know obviously what you have to really do. All you have to do is just divide by 86. And you get such a simple equation which is x minus y is equal to 1. Now once you convert this, it becomes a very simple simultaneous equation. And you could handle this. So you need to know this trick. So all of you have to have some tricks in your back so that you could unleash out and try to do these challenging problems so now let's add equations 3 plus 4 i would get x plus y plus x minus y is equal to 5 plus 1 minus y will get cancelled 2x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 3 is one solution then substitute x is equal to 3 in equation 3 all right so i get 3 plus y is equal to 5 or y is equal to 2 and hence my solution or answer to this question is simply x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2 all right so after this my students 
Man, how come uh, so simple but we couldn't get it? And now they are so happy to solve this type of equation. They just look at the pattern and they know what they have to do. Hope you enjoyed this session, students and viewers. Hope this strategy will uh, help you in your exams when you see such questions. So stay tuned for another interesting problem and hope you would not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.